Not an unusual sight in today's world, elderly people dependent on walking aids. It's already the case today that one in five Germans is a senior citizen and has reached the age at which, for the first time in their lives, they may require assistance devices to carry out everyday tasks. To enable citizens to cope with the challenge of growing restrictions in their mobility and to allow them to lead independent lives in their accustomed surroundings for as long as possible, Fraunhofer IPA has spent over 10 years developing the Carobot service robot. As a product vision, Carobot is designed to demonstrate how a robot can be used to provide everyday assistance around the home. The SRS project has come up with some new application scenarios for Carobot. These are concerned in particular with involving family members or a service center to control the robot remotely. The assistance provided might look something like this. From the comfort of our armchair, with just a few touches of the display, the user can instruct the robot to bring her something to drink. Carobot is programmed to know just where the different items of food and drink are kept in the user's home. Sensors enable it to detect the position of the required drink on the kitchen counter. It can then grasp the bottle with its robotic arm. Using its tray back in the living room, Caro Bot safely and intuitively serves the drink the lady has ordered. Family members too can use the services of the robot to assist their relative. This allows them to check that all is well even in cases where, say, the elderly person lives in a different part of town. For this purpose, they can remotely control Carobot and use the robot's cameras to take a look around their loved one's home. I got the photo, thank you. I've already set it up. Oh, now I can see it on the closet. It looks great. The robot can independently plan and execute a wide range of different fetch and carry tasks to order. Sometimes, however, it too comes up against the limits of its abilities. For example, if objects are arranged too close together or if the lighting is poor. In such cases, another solution is to hand. If Carobot is unable to unambiguously identify or grip an object with the user's permission, it has the option of getting in contact with a service center. From there, a member of staff can remotely command the robot to execute an appropriate arm motion to enable it to complete its task.